Welcome to this video. Today I want to talk about a tip you can do to increase security and privacy on your Windows and Mac computers. First going to touch on Windows and then in just a moment I will touch on Mac. But today's topic or tip is updates. Keep everything up to date. And I know I've talked about this before, but I can't emphasize it enough. Very, very, very important you stay up to date because those updates often include security updates or patches to protect you from threats or vulnerabilities. Now, there's a lot of emphasis on things such as encryption, antivirus, anti-malware, VPNs, you know, all this other stuff that people want to do or use to stay secure or, you know, protected. And I think sometimes we forget the importance of keeping things up to date because all those other options, all those other, you know, applications, security applications, if they're not kept up to date, they could be a risk themselves. And so if there's anything I want to drive home in this video, it's keep everything up to date. And I'm talking about your operating system, all of your applications, everything from your, you know, security programs, your antivirus, your anti-malware, your backup, your browsers, everything you use needs to be kept up to date. And at times you will need to update possibly your BIOS, you know, for your computer. That's something that you don't generally have to do, but sometimes there are vulnerabilities that are discovered that require a BIOS update to protect you against those as well. Also make sure, even though I'm not talking about mobile devices, just a quick note, you need to keep your mobile devices up to date as well, because if you're vulnerable on one device and protected on the other, you're really vulnerable on both. So make sure you're keeping all of your devices up to date. Now I can't go over how to update everything because everyone's using different applications on their computers, but just some of the main things I'm going to go over today. And so the first thing you want to do is open up the Windows Start menu and just type in uh, settings. And then we're just going to click on settings to open up the settings menu. And right here we can see there's an update and security option. Now these should be going through automatically, but you do want to periodically check just to make sure. And so you can always just click on check for updates. It will check for those updates and then it will go ahead and, and automatically run them. You will probably have to restart the computer if it does find any available. To update your antivirus program, it's usually very easy. You just come down to the system tray, right click on your antivirus, and there's usually a check uh, for update option in the menu there. Sometimes you do have to open up the actual program, but regardless, there will always be an update option available in your antivirus program. And again, these will usually update automatically, but it's a good idea to check just to make sure that they are going through. Some additional updates you will want to check is with your web browsers. Now here in Google Chrome, it's really easy. Just come to the menu in the top right corner, go down to help and about Google Chrome, and it will check to make sure you're up to date. You will also want to make sure you go back to the menu and go down to more tools, extensions, uh, switch the developer mode on, and then click on update here as well, just to make sure your extensions are up to date. But as far as Google Chrome goes, you should be good in both those regards. Now with Firefox, same thing, go up to the menu in the top right corner and go down to help. And then from there, click on about Firefox. Again, it will check to make sure you're up to date and run them if any are needed. We can see that we are up to date here. And then for the extensions, go back to the menu in the top right, go down to add-ons, and then just make sure you have extensions selected. Click on the gear icon and go down to check for updates. This will just make sure that your extensions are up to date as well. I should also mention that Microsoft Edge will automatically update when Windows updates come through, so you do not update it the same way you do with Google Chrome or Firefox. Now here on Mac, much of it is the same. There are some differences, and I'll go over those here in just a moment. But for example, Google Chrome, Firefox are going to update pretty much the same way here on Mac. Also, if you're using an antivirus or other security software, the icons will be up here on the top right rather than the bottom right. But as far as updating the operating system, what you'll need to do is click on the Apple icon in the top left and go to About This Mac. And then from here, there's an option that says Software Update. If you click on that, it will check to see if there's any updates available for your operating system. If there are, it will list them here. And then you'll, from there, you'll be able to go ahead and do the update. Now, as far as updating other applications on your computer, what you'll want to do is just come down here and open up the App Store. And you'll notice here in the App Store, there's a tab that says Updates. Just select that, and if there's any updates available, they'll list them here in this menu. I should also mention that when macOS updates, Safari will update as well, just like Microsoft Edge updates when you do Windows updates. And that's basically everything as far as the main things you want to keep up to date. Just keep in mind that if you have other applications, the process may be a little bit different. You may need to check their website for instructions on how to specifically update other programs, both on Windows and Mac. But as far as the main things that you want to keep updated, I have shown those in this video. 
Also, as I've already mentioned, make sure you keep your other devices up to date as far as your cell phones, your tablets, and then also I did mention keeping the BIOS up to date on your your computers, but you should also be keeping the firmware up to date on your routers and modems. And it's a little bit different from device to device. And so if you're not sure how to do that, I would recommend contacting your internet service provider or the manufacturer and their tech support should be able to walk you through that process. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.